Next up, we have Garima. Yeah. 
actually is disappearance day. It's considered the appearance and the disappearance of the Mahabharata pure devotee, especially the founder of Charya, this international side of Krishna consciousness, are considered non different. The Vaishnavas died to live, and in living they spread the holy name around. But, you know, Thakur said about Hairas Thakur. So I have a, something I've written as an offering to you, Srila Prabhupada, to express an attempt to express my appreciation, gratitude, and love for how you came to save me, show me the way back home, back to Godhead. That this, this world is not my home. My home is with you and Krishna and all the residents of Vrindavan. And you show me the way. You show me my home and the way to get there. So this is something I've written for you, Srila Prabhupada. Dear Srila Prabhupada, Nama Om Vishnu Badaya Krishna Vishaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vidanta Swamini Tinamini Namaste Sarsati Devi Gorvani Pacharani Nirvishesha Srikavadi Pasyatra Deshatarani You are my guiding light, my sustainer, both my father and mother and my most loving friend. As Radha and Krishna's most confidential canvasser, you've come to give the light of Golok in the dark dungeon of this material world. Please take me along with you and the countless others who have embraced your lotus feet your mission to save the lost souls of this Kali Yuga, to bring us back home, back to Godhead. Since you know the innermost desires of Lord Krishna, and you only exist to carry out those desires, I can only beg you to complete the overhaul of my consciousness from I centered to you and your desires. This is the only way I can qualify for Goloka Vrindavan citizenship. With your recommendation, anything is possible. Thank you for caring. I'm like a Chakora bird living by the drops of water pouring from the rain cloud of your mercy. Please accept me. Eternally at your lotus feet. Akila Das. And this is a quote that from one of from your purport in second canto chapter eight. Text 21 of the Srimad Bhagavatam. A 
devotee's business is to earn the favor of the Lord. So that's the devotee's business. To earn the favor of the Lord. And as you've revealed the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Svayam Bhagavan, Sri Krishna, and Radharani, and their most dear associates of Vrindavan, the bridge bosses, so that we can become like you among them. And you live forever with Krishna in your books, and your followers will live with you, who take shelter of you, especially through your books, as you're living still in sound. And we can live with you and develop love for you by trying to please you. And in that way, we can only be able to develop love for Krishna and the resident Radharani and the residents of Raj. To become like you, you're the emissary, the ambassador who's come to save the world, to save me. You're the only one who can do it. You're the only one in the whole universe who could come. Never giving up on me. Never giving up. So many lifetimes. So I just pray that we can finish this business, this life. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Akira Darku, for your wonderful offering to Shri Prabhupada. Next up, we have His Great Shambi Hari Prabhu, who will be able to. Prabhupada is always very merciful but on this day, celebrating his 125th appearance. We are fortunate to still be in his shelter. So, what can I say about Srila Prabhupada that has now already been said? Prabhupada's disciples, they are the ones who educate us, who give us knowledge about Srila Prabhupada. We do not have the capacity or the qualification to speak about the greatness of Srila Prabhupada. But since I've been requested as a service to the Vaishnavas in this temple, I'll try to speak a few words. I've been very fortunate that I've been born in the same city as Srila Prabhupada. I was born just about 10 kilometers away from his birthplace. And he went to college in Scottish Rite, which was hardly about 2 kilometers away from my house. So, you would think I'm very fortunate, but I consider myself very unfortunate because in spite of that, I didn't get any personal association with Srila Prabhupada. In Calcutta, there used to be two major publications. One was Amritta Bazaar Patrika, and the other one was The Statesman. And we would constantly get updates and news about Srila Prabhupada when he left for America. We would hear about how he was chanting and how Americans were joining him in his chanting. We would also, we also got news when he brought them over to India and then of course, then too, we were not serious about Krishna consciousness. I had to come to America in order to get Prabhupada's mercy. I had to come to America to become a, try to become a devotee of Sri Krishna. We in India have very little knowledge about Radha and Krishna. If it was not for the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, we would have absolutely no understanding of Sri Radha and Sri Krishna. It is his mercy that has revealed to us the Supreme Person and his consort Sri Radha. I was reading one time about how Bibi Govinda Swami Maharaj once approached his godbrother 
who like was 100 and 100 plus years back, 100 plus years old. And that Maharaj welcomed Viva Swami, Swami, Mar um, Swami Maharaj and asked him, are you a disciple of Srila Prabhupada? And he said, yes, I am his disciple. And so there was a long period of silence while Maharaj meditated. And then he told Vivi Gonda Swami Maharaj, there has never been an Acharya like Srila Prabhupada. And there will never again be an Acharya like Srila Prabhupada. This was his own God brother validating the position of Srila Prabhupada. There was never, there has never been an Acharya like Srila Prabhupada and there will never again be an Acharya like Srila Prabhupada. After saying that, Maharaj was silent for another three to five minutes. And then he said, Srila Prabhupada's faith in the holy name was absolute, was perfect. And that is the reason why he could come to America and spread the Krishna Consciousness Movement just on the basis of the Holy Name. And we have seen how Srila Prabhupada, when he came to New York, he sat under a tree in Tom Tompkins Square Park and he just lighted a spark of the Holy Name. And then he just nurtured it and waved it and we see a fire spread all over the world. This fire is still alive. It is still very much potent. But we all have to nurture it. We all have to keep fanning it. In order to serve Srila Prabhupada, we all have to be fearless, absolutely fearless in our efforts to keep this fire growing, to keep this Krishna Consciousness potent all through the world. Prabhupada toured the entire world, I believe 13 times, tirelessly, fearlessly, whether he went before the media or whether he was talking to the leaders of this world, he had no fear at all. He had only one message to give to the entire world and that was Krishna Consciousness. And that should be our goal too, following in his path. We cannot imitate him, but we can follow in his path and fearlessly give Krishna Consciousness to whoever we need. We should not be held back by color, creed, country, or any kind of distinction. We should not be held back by any kind of identity. We should be totally fearless and give Krishna Consciousness. Shankarshan Prabhu from Texas once made a very beautiful comment. He said, the only reason why this whole world is not Krishna Conscious is because we are holding back. We are holding back, holding back, holding back. If we just give ourselves to Srila Prabhupada, if we give ourselves to this moment, it is only a question of a very short time when this entire world can be Krishna conscious. Because we are holding back, this moment is not growing as it should. And so we should not hold back, we should give up everything, every kind of uh, fear or any kind of doubts or any kind of misgivings that are holding us back. And just surrender at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada and you will see Everything will be perfect. Srila Prabhupada said that if we just follow his instructions, if we just chant our arms sincerely following the four regulative principles, he himself will be there to take us back to the spiritual world where we will be re-engaged in our service to the divine couple. Putting our faith without any reservations in the words of Srila Prabhupada, we must serve his movement, serve our spiritual masters who are representing Srila Prabhupada and let this movement be the bane of all of mankind. As long as we are having health, bodily strength and that should be our only goal. 
Her only goal should be served this moment of Srila Prabhupada. There should be no other reservations. I'm very glad to see that youngsters like Kartik Prabhu and Rakesh Prabhu have dedicated so much time and effort for doing whatever possible to keep devotees inspired through weekly lectures, through Kirtana, through Sankirtana. They are working very hard and so we should support them. We should do whatever is necessary to help in this effort to keep devotees inspired so that they don't fall away. If you really want to know the true value of Iskhan, if you want to know the true value of Prabhupada, then look beyond Iskhan, look outside of Iskhan. You will find nothing of value there. You will be lost in this jungle of the material world. Our true shelter is within Iskhan. A true shelter is at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada. And we just have to experience it for ourselves. Even if you don't believe me, if you don't believe anyone, experience it for yourself. Go out and see. There is nothing of value that you can get outside of Iskhan. Yes, there are so many religious organizations. There are so many preachers. But what Prabhupada has given us is the absolute truth. What Prabhupada has given us is the perfect way back to where we belong. We are all stuck in the material world in Janma Mrityu Jara Adi. We are finding no way around it. But Srila Prabhupada has made it so simple. One time a disciple of his asked Prabhupada that how long do we have to continue to chant? before we can achieve the goal of human life. And Prabhupada was so strong, he immediately said, one minute. He said, one minute. If you just chant sincerely from the deep, deepest uh, portion of your heart, you will be immediately liberated. Immediately you will be taken back to the spiritual world. Our problem is that one minute we are not able to give. Otherwise, Prabhupada said, that is all it takes. That is all it takes for us to achieve our constitutional position back at the lotus feet of Sri Radha and Krishna. And so on this 125th disappearance day of Srila Prabhupada, let us recommit ourselves to the service of this movement. Let us recommit ourselves to the books that Srila Prabhupada has given us and distribute them and read them as much as we can. Let us recommit ourselves to the holy names that we have received from Srila Prabhupada. Let us recommit ourselves to the regulative principles and let us recommit ourselves to serving the devotees of Iskhan. Of course, the devotees outside of Iskhan too. And just by recommitting, we will get the potency through Srila Prabhupada's mercy, through Krishna's mercy. Have no fear. So on this 125th appearance day, uh, disappearance day, I'm sorry, of Srila Prabhupada, we have so much to uh, thank Prabhupada for. Our heart should be full, full of gratitude for what we have received. Because without gratitude, there cannot be any purification. So very enthusiastically, let us approach the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada on this day and seek his shelter. And Prabhupada is so compassionate that no matter how many misgivings we may have, how many faults we may have, he is open to just welcome us into his arms. So let us take this opportunity not only today, for this whole year on his 125th appearance, or this is his 125th year. So let us take this whole year to recommit ourselves to Srila Prabhupada. And you will see the results. You will yourself experience Srila Prabhupada's presence in your life. You will yourself be able to glorify Srila Prabhupada and give Srila Prabhupada's mercy to everyone you know. 
It is so easy. Prabhupada has made it so easy. All you have to do is you have a home, you invite your neighbors, have kirtanam and prasadam. You don't even have to preach. Just have kirtanam and prasadam. And maybe at the end of the day, give them a book from Srila Prabhupada. That's all you have to do. And that's all Prabhupada desires from us. And we will see how wonderfully this moment can grow. And we will see how much mercy we can receive by just these simple acts of devotional service. So on this 125th of the disappearance day of Srila Prabhupada, I pray at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada that he may keep me engaged in his service through my last breath so that I may be able to, in my most smallest way, be able to help whoever is willing to achieve the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada. Thank you all so much. So if I don't mind, do we have some time? I can do a little kirtan. Huh? Oh yeah, please, sure. Krishna 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 Shri Advaita Gidatha Shivasadeva Matkanda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare I want to thank all of you for being here today and I'd like for you to think about something. This community, Atlanta, received a special blessing from Srila Prabhupada, and that blessing was his presence here. Prabhupada did not make an appearance at all the temples in his time. There were many temples who never had an opportunity to do what we've been able to do here. And uh, I think that if we really, really think about that blessing, Shri Prabhupada walked on this property. He walked on this property. And uh, he also, while he was here, he gave Brahminical initiation. And I'm just so fortunate that I was able to receive that blessing. And it was so special. And during that time when I was receiving Brahma initiation, it was a very intimate moment between me and Shri Prabhupada, and I will never forget it. And it's the dear most thing in my memory of Prabhupada. And that was Prabhupada gave me the Gayatri Mantra. And uh, so as he was giving me the Gayatri Mantra, he, he looked at my hand. And, and I can't touch my thumb and little finger they can't touch because and Papa asked me, says, what happened to your finger? And I said, when I was in high school, Papa, I was playing sports and I broke my finger and I never had it set. And Papa looked at me and he says, frivolous sports. That was his comment, frivolous sports. And I said, yes, Papa. So Prabhupada reached over and grabbed my hand and touched my finger and thumb and gave me the Gayatri Mantra. And that was to me the, one of the most intimate, the most intimate activity between me and Shri Prabhupada. I just want to 
said, thank you all for being here. This is a very special moment. We must remember Shil Prabhupada. And one of the best ways to remember him is his most precious gift. And that most precious gift is his books. Prabhupada is in his books. He's president of the books, so let's do what we can to distribute those books. Hare Krishna. Speak one more minute. You want to speak one more minute? You can continue. You can continue. Mm -hmm. So, distributing Prabhupada's books is a way that we can reach the whole world. And that the knowledge that is contained there is liberating. So we need to share that. We need to share it. We need to give a lot of time and energy to distributing the books. And we can all do that. We can all do that. We can all distribute the books. Krishna. The big book is so big time. <laughs> And I, I, I've been on hiring on with him, and I've seen him approach people. And to see here is a book, and turn the book over and show them a picture of Prabhupada and tell them who Prabhupada is. And to me, that is one of the most inspiring experiences I've had to see someone so young be so enthusiastic about giving knowledge of Krishna to others. So we have, we have to take that example. We have to be dedicated to sharing Krishna consciousness with others. Because that is the, really the most important thing. What is there that's more important? So the question that comes up and uh, and I don't know the answer, but one of the questions that comes up is, where is Shri Prabhupada now? We're celebrating the 120 year anniversary. <laughs> Wonderful. That's what I believe. You know, some devotees say that no, he is not preaching on some other planet. He is actually going back to the spiritual world. I would like to believe that he is in another universe on another planet preaching. Because I think he was so dedicated to sharing Krishna consciousness with others. That was his life and soul. This is Kali Yuga. And we got to truly understand what Kali Yuga means. This is the age of quarrel. And we've, when we've seen it, we, we see it all around us. There's you know, so many disagreements. So it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. It's going to get really bad. We haven't seen the worst of it yet. We just, we just saw a little bit, a glimpse of what it's going to be. There's going to be some wars, I mean, some serious wars. And so, to find peace, there's only one way to find peace. And there's a lot of people who think that they know the key to peace. But the key to peace, that key is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. If you don't have that mantra, if you can't chant those words, you're in trouble. I don't care how much money you've got, you may have billions of dollars. And there are people that got billions and billions of dollars. All kinds of property, got all kinds of 
material things. And there are people who only have one thing, and that's the Maha Mantra. And they chant that every single day. And they follow four regulated principles. Four regulated principles. Those principles are so important. And they only take Krishna Prashana. So, we have to really, really think about what this day is. It's, it's a time for dedication. Dedicate yourself to this movement. Give yourself the show of our time. And the whole world will be blessed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine
जय जय श्री गोपाल की जय सो टुडे इज द होली अपीयरेंस ऑफ डिसिप्लिन्स ऑफ श्री प्रभुपाद आवर फाउंडर जज बिस्कॉन सो वी वांट द डिवोटीज टू मूव दिस साइड और वन साइड बिकॉज़ वी वांट द फ्रंट टू बी दिस इन बाय द डीज एंड वी हैव कीर्तन नाउ आल्सो एंड वी विल फेस प्रभुपाद वी आर डूइंग कीर्तन and every everybody can join the kirtan uh, so this is we going to be special one small guru puja to prabhupa like every temple is doing now during the day time and in the evening we will have a bigger program you all can also come at it will start from 4 o'clock onwards until 8:30 and then uh, after that when the guru puja is over then we will have also start with the prasadam so you can also take prasadam but the kirtan will also go on because kirtan is scheduled for until 4 o'clock so but you know all the night prasad in the small room so let us now have guru puja for prabhupad and in the meantime there will be no i don't think so we'll chant guru ashtakam we we'll just to we'll chant hari krishna and hari aarati in the evening we'll do the guru ashtakam hare